Hi, I'm Shivali. Welcome to salvatespace.com. Cost cutting and scrap generation. Profit is what derives the firms. No money, no existence. But the market isn't run by a single firm. It is run by numerous money-minded production houses ready to topple one another in the race to the top. Broadly, there exists two ways of increasing profits, price increase and cost reduction. Price increase is always the risky option as every customer wants to avoid the situation where his acquaintance bought the same or sometimes even better product for a lesser price making the customer feel defeated. Defeating the customer's ego is the last thing a company would want to do. So that leaves them with the option of cost cutting. Every manufacturing house looks to eliminate all the tiny aspects of production that does not fetch profits. Getting rid of metal extensions, extra protection covers are some techniques by which the producer saves a few extra bucks. This has led to a flood of products with reduced use of raw material. Thus, after its utility period, these products as scraps are considered to be of lesser value than its predecessors. This has led to a sharp decline in the price of scraps containing the scope of expansion of the industry. The US has seen a decline of 41% in its scrap industry mainly due to increases cost cutting and reduced prices of scrap against the dollar. Main players like China and Turkey have also seen a decrease in their imports. This lands the economists and corporate planners in a dilemma of whether to look at a long-term growth aspect or short-term boost and makes them glance over the opportunity costs of both the prospects. The answer, as in most cases, depends on the approach of the company. In conclusion, the economy is a very volatile element and it can shake even the simple and rigid markets like the scrap market. For more educational videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be happy to see you as a registered user at www.salvatespace.com. Thank you for watching this video. I'll meet you again in the next video.